Hi guys, welcome. Fitness anytime and anywhere by Marzena. Bringing you, as promised, another aqua workout. This is part two for the previous cardio kickboxing in the water, part one. So I hope you already watched that. That first video includes warm up. With this segment, I'm actually gonna skip warm up because I am assuming you're gonna do both at a time. And that's gonna give you over 40 cardio minutes of water aerobics. If you are new on my channel, welcome. You're gonna find a bunch of amazing workouts here, not only in the water, there's a lot of lands workouts that you can do literally anywhere, in your home, in a park, outdoors, indoors, you name it. For most of those, you need zero or very little equipment. Usually, exercise mat will be very helpful and some good shoes. But other than this, that's all. You just need a good energy and good attitude. I'll be taking you through every step of the way. In today's workout, I will show you some great cardio kickboxing combinations that you can incorporate to your workout. I will be using water dumbbells and I will keep using water shoes, but they highly recommend it as well. This workout will take us a little over 20 minutes. We'll begin with combo one, double jab, uppercut, uppercut. So this is double jab. With uppercut, you're gonna scoop it down below the surface. And that's it, switch side, double jab, push it hard, uppercut, we are alternating arms here. Jab and jab, it's right below the surface and with uppercut you're gonna go way deeper, scooping the ice cream, you remember? Keep going. Our legs are set up way wider than shoulders wide apart and even if this routine mostly moves your upper body, you should be feeling that actually your whole body is working out here because you are using your core and you are definitely using your legs as well just to stabilize the position. I will be alternating combinations where one mostly will challenge your upper body muscles and then it's gonna be turned for lower body. So you're always gonna take a nice break. Oh, I forgot, you also need water bottle. Yes, we will be taking frequent water breaks with this workout. Let's keep going, uppercut, uppercut, and again, fast, double jab, uppercut. Go a little bit deeper with uppercut, use your core strength, jab, jab, uppercut, and uppercut. Yeah, this is a great segment for arms. Here's the next exercise. We're gonna jump forward and backwards, and then we're gonna do same leg kicks around the world. So you go front kick, back kick, side kick, switch leg, front kick, back kick, side kick, and switch. Wonderful, jump forward and backwards, and then keep on going. So we're gonna alternate legs right here before we do another jump front and back, pushing those dumbbells below the water. Look that there are no breaks in between those moves. We're just gonna put everything together and we're gonna keep moving to burn a lot of calories. And switch leg. You wanna kick your foot as close to water surface as it's possible. Let me show you this from this angle so you could see exactly how much movement there is. With kicks, you are actually on the same spots, but you are jumping between one spot right here and another one with a jump. So you need a lot of space for this exercise. Always reserve a good amount of space in a pool to complete this workout, especially that we are kicking pretty hard and you wanna make sure you don't accidentally kick someone or something. Pushing those dumbbells down, using core strength, curling knees up. 
Remember also with any kick, you lift up your knee up first and then you also curl it back towards yourself after you complete kick. This way, you're gonna get the best up workout ever. I'm using pretty large water dumbbells, so it really is a great and tough workout for my upper body, but if you feel you wanna go a little easier for your arms for any reason, just use smaller dumbbells, or you can skip them for some of those routines. They don't all require aqua dumbbells. Aqua dumbbells will definitely add resistance, but again, they are not a must. This workout should be from medium to high intensity. It's all up to you how much energy you're gonna put into each move. But remember, we wanna feel the water is trying to slow us down and we don't let that happen. This is how you're gonna take most of that water exercise. All right, next combination, we're gonna move sideways with side jabs four times and then we're gonna do jabs up and down with a little bit of jumping, which will be optional. You have option to make it easier by punching down and up if you wanna give your arms a little break every now and then, or you can maintain the same level. And I am presenting this video in a little shallower part of the pool, probably best water level would be chest, so most of your punches will actually be below surface. All right, let me show you again. This is the side jabs, we're moving sideways, to the right, to the left, four times, and then jabs and jumps, up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, this is how the combo looks. Four times moving sideways jab, four times moving the other direction, and then down and up. Here you stay on the spot, but you are adding movement up and down, up and down. To the side, to the other side, start pushing those dumbbells below the water eventually, and then down and up, down and up, working those arms, Pretty cool, let's go. Now it's exactly how it's supposed to go, right? It's below the water and then down up, down and up, down and up, down and up. And then you're gonna come back, push, push, keep going, curling those knees. You see how my legs are open in the water? It's a wide position. All right, keep going, one, two, Three, keep going, keep pushing and switch side, down and up, down and up. This one is pretty dynamic combination. Most of those will be, but hey, we are here to burn lots of calories, right? And then keep on going. You wanna repeat each combination minimum 12 times. And obviously, if you want to work out longer, double the amount of time or put both of my kickboxing videos together, part one and part two. All right, finish this set. Make sure your upper body feels it and then jog it out. Getting ready for combo four, wide jogging with power splash. Now this one is very intensive, very easy to remember, not much movement going on, not much different moves, but a lot of movement I would say. You see, I'm curling my knees up, moving those knees up and down and pushing both dumbbells forward and then to the side. Four times forward, four times to the side. You can intensify this segment by moving forward as you go and then back. But I decided to stay a little closer to the camera so you could see everything. You will see and you should see that the water is being splashed. But if it's, splashed, if it's splashing too much, I want you to push those dumbbells just a little bit deeper and that should help. Keep going, keep going. You see how I'm slowing down? That's because this combination is really exhausting. I want you to keep going, 
Keep telling yourself it's the fastest version of yourself. Come on, push it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more and done. Moving on to the next segment. This actually is a quick recover. Yes. And good moment for water break, getting to combination number five, jab, cross, side kick. And then I'm gonna show you how to add something else to this segment, okay? So this is our baseline. You need to remember just those three moves for now, jab, cross, and side kick with a bunch of your energy. Lift up that knee, kick with the side of your foot, with the upper part of your foot, in fact. Once you get this going, you're gonna add one more move, punch down. So you have jab, cross, kick with punch down. You wanna coordinate that kick with punch down. And that third move is deeper, right? It's right to the surface, the first two, then you go deeper. It's an amazing combination. It really works your whole body. And you're gonna be exhausted after you do about 12 of those reps. And I'll show you what you can do in between before you switch side. There you go, split jumps right there. And now obviously you can choose to go really fast with split jumps, but what I can tell you, you should be pretty exhausted after combination five and this is a good active recover before we move to the opposite side all right so let's do it opposite side jab cross with side kick try remember just those three moves first and then you know we will be adding one extra punch down jab cross and punch down there we go so you always want to give uh, your body and your brain to learn those moves. Then you're going to make sure you go with a good range of motion, that you do everything right, and only after I want you to focus on tempo. Medium to high intensity is the goal for this workout. Jab, cross, punch down with kick, yes? You want to be able to coordinate those last two moves, punch down with side kick, hits and targets at the same second. Oh boy, this is fast. I really want to hear from you guys after you complete this workout. Was it worth it? Was it fun? Combination six, side kick, cross, split jump side kick together with cross and split the jump twice so here we go right and left push dumbbells down kick out twice another pretty challenging segment and as you can tell i skipped any break in between you can add some motion though right you can move forward with those side kicks and then you're gonna perform split kicks, split jumps on the spot, and then you're gonna head back. It all depends how much space you have available. If you own the pool, it's a no-brainer. You should be moving along. Keep on going entire body in motion now and well-deserved quick water break that i always want to incorporate to your routines moving on we have hook and we're just gonna practice this move for a little bit now watch me obviously i'm showing you the first seconds above the surface but then put at least the bottom part of your dumbbell down if you use the big ones and eventually you want to keep the entire dumbbell above the water then jog it out and give me speed back speed back we're gonna do two ways we will go above the water and then below water combo seven hook 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 again there's four of those 
and then speed back you're gonna go above the water first jog it out and then you're gonna go below the water and then again hook with hook you want to push that dumbbell away from yourself as far as you can jog it out go above the water and then go below and feel the difference that's pretty cool right hook again palms are facing in 90 degree point flex in our elbow right there and go above the water fast 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 and below the water keep going i will show you how to take this routine to the next level in a moment so keep watching okay they are there are some transitions that you can add this one is a little easier you can go fast 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 and then below the water with your feet and legs open like this back to hook four times come on hit it deal with the resistance again very very fast legs with arms above the water and then a little wider stance as you are getting below the surface one more repetition like that and i know we're gonna be ready to take it to the next level extremely fast legs extremely fast arms right there your full attention let's add cross-country skiing to this last segment of speed back that we had below the surface and i'm telling you you're not gonna regret that you trust me on that don't you so ready it's hook it's hook it's the third hook here's the fourth one and then watch very fast leg speed back above and below the water with cross-country skiing now how cool is that hook again we obviously want to alternate sides and we want to do a lot of reps of those 12 is our magic number but you can do more and again speed back it's the same movement we are just at increased cross this one rocks hook hit it hook and hook again and one more time fast legs let's go speed back is up in the air right there now it's getting deeper and your legs are going fast front and back toes pointed forward well this one is extremely intensive so you definitely want to give yourself a quick water break or just do something that's going to loosen up those muscles before combo eight front kick same leg front switch leg back and then jump kick again front kick back kick front kick back kick front kick back kick and watch out split jump twice switch leg i hope you can tell i am alternating my kicks first three times kicking forward and back and then split jump split kicks twice so right kick forward left kick back right kick forward left kick back right kick forward left kick back and jump boom twice now i'm gonna switch sides so it's left kick forward right kick back left kick forward right kick back left kick forward right kick back and jump kick twice all right keep going left kick i know i messed up sides right that's fine all we have to remember is that we need to alternate sides keep on going right kick forward left kick back right kick forward jump over left kick back right kick forward left kick back get ready for the jump boom twice do it again let's go kick forward jump over kick back kick forward jump over curling those knees in and get ready for that jump and hop 
and another one. There are no breaks in between. You just keep that flow moving from one exercise to another one. That's what combinations are about, yes? And that's what kickboxing is about. We wanna keep moving. Remember that if you feel it's too much for your upper body, you can just put those dumbbells aside for a moment. You're still gonna get a fantastic workout just by linking your fingertips and using your palm surface to create the additional resistance. Another good moment for a quick water break. And we're gonna move on to the next segment. We only have a little bit left but it's worth watching, I promise. So we'll begin with some boxing shuffle and couple punches above the water, just to give those wrists a moment of relief. And then watch, this is gonna be very interesting. You're gonna do elbow push, hook forward, and then while you do wide jogging, you'll be pushing, punching below the surface. Elbow back, hook forward, and wide jogging push. This is an amazing segment for our shoulders and arms, obviously. We will be focusing on one side for a little bit and then we're gonna switch side. Let's, let's do it again. Elbow back, hook forward and then push, 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 push. Elbow back, focus on your upper body with the first two moves and then legs and arms. Push, 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 push. Elbow back, hook forward. Push, 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 push. Keep on going. Elbow back, hook forward and go. Two, three, four. Yes, you can add some motion here. Elbow, hook, push, push, Push. Your other side is taking a break now. Well deserved, by the way. You will see a lots of splash here. That's okay. You know, ladies, you need the waterproof mascara in a pool if you need any. Because you're going to get splash. Side kick four times with cross and then watch out zigzag kick after each kick you're gonna jump down and down and down there you go and then you're gonna move on side kick with cross jumping over four times using that last energy that's left in our body side kick jump down jump down this one i love and awesome and now we're gonna switch sides and push four times below water so it's again elbow push hook forward and water punch there you go elbow back hit it hook forward and push 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 i want you to do your best here do the same number of reps what was it 12 and then I just want to let you know we are getting closer to an end of this second part. So you don't have to hold back. Here you go for it. You put your best energy. You finish this routine in style. And then you're going to be super, super proud of yourself. Unless you want to add kickboxing cardio part one to an end to your, of your routine. Let me know how did you do and how much you were able to squeeze in in one routine. Were you able to do both or just one? I would love to hear from you guys. I love hearing your comments, your suggestions. You are very appreciated. Your comments are very welcome. I want this channel to be the best channel on youtube with aqua videos and all the other workouts so if you want to tell me what can i do to make it better trust me i i'm super happy to hear from you 
keep going those are the last seconds you are maintaining good form amazing tempo and this is how our workout rocks thank you so much for watching my videos my channel keeps growing thanks to you and this is so appreciated be yourself and be the best version of yourself subscribe don't forget to stretch relax and eat something healthy thank you guys bye now